Hi Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Uh, just wanna go over really quickly. I have three decks here. We're gonna pick up uh, your energy, your person's energy. We'll get the mutual energy. We'll clarify what's needed. And then we will uh, pull the outcome. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next three to four weeks energy and I also will predict uh, your future love. That's something new that I'm adding along with um, everything else. I treat it like a personal reading. So with that, let's get started. Uh, just wanna remind everyone, uh, personal reading info, and also how to win a free personal reading. All those details are below. All right, so let's pick up, um, okay. We're picking up Virgo's energy, uh, person on their mind. We need one more card, might as well pull one more card since I already uh, pulled it. Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay. I feel like Virgo, Virgo, in your energy space, I feel like you haven't clearly made any decisions around this person, okay? I definitely get an energy that your guard is up with this person. I feel like um, your head may be telling you to, you know, to move on from this person, to close the cycle with this person. Maybe this person isn't good for you, for some of you. Um, but I feel like your heart may be telling you something else because you do have a past with this person. And I feel like there is a part of you that is open to communicate with this person to see if this could be a situation that works out. And this is where I feel like you're kind of at odds with yourself because your head may be telling you one thing and your heart may be telling you another. But I really get an energy that you haven't clearly decided right what um, you want to do with this situation, okay? You have the four cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, and I'm going to say here too, you have the Page of Swords and you also have the Knight of Pentacles. This is showing me that I feel that there has been lack of communication, you know, poor communication could even, um, you know, feeling like things are at a standstill, not a whole lot of movement. And I, you know, can even be feeling like an energy of, you know, you don't know if this person, um, wants to accept your love and, you know, feeling like maybe this is someone who has other offers is what I'm really picking up here. So let's go to your person's energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Please show Virgo uh, their person's energy. What can you share with Virgo? <coughs> I'm so sorry. What can you share with Virgo. And I think I'm going to take a sip here of my Diet Coke. My son got me a Diet Coke. <laughs> Not good for me, I know, but hey. All right. What's the energy here for Virgo's person? What can you share with Virgo? Okay. Could be dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio, Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we do have the sun card here, which is my yes card. Okay, really what I'm seeing in your person's energy, I'm just gonna start with these two cards. You have the Hierophant and you have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person is thinking about reaching out to you, sending you some sort of message, but I'm also getting when it comes towards a uh, commitment or relationship, this is someone who has not really shown you a whole lot of whether they want to be in a relationship or they just don't uh, do enough where things get to a committed relationship there. We have the death rebirth card here, Scorpio energy and the eight of cups. I feel like this is a someone, um, they're not feeling really content uh, right now where things are at. It does feel like a lot of you, this is a situation that ended in the past. Now, this could be someone who was exploring other opportunities, but I sense here that 
this is someone who um, I feel like they want to reach out to you. So let's do some clarifying here. I'm going to start here with the judgment because that's going to give me some idea here like about the past situation why it, and why you're trying to make a decision here or not make a decision. Why is judgment here, please? Why is judgment here, please? Okay, we got the four of swords. We have the four of cups. Yeah, look at that. Here's your counterpart here, the king and the queen of swords. Again, you have the sun card on the bottom of the deck. Wow, look at that. That doesn't happen very often where I get the sun card on both uh, bottom of the deck here, okay? Let's see what we got here. We have the four of swords, we have the four of cups, and we have the king of swords. Yeah, it does feel like there is distance between the two of you. And I feel as time goes on, as more distance happens, you know, that's where I feel like, you know, you're feeling like this person is... Uh, not communicating or they're being very hesitant in taking any action towards, you know, this commitment here that I am seeing. Okay. So I almost get an energy Virgo that you and this person are both a bit detached, both uh, a bit in protective mode, uh, maybe being more logical about things here. But uh, interesting enough, okay? So before we clarify uh, your person's energy, I want to pull the mutual energy between the two of you. Please show uh, Virgo what they need to know. What's the mutual energy here between Virgo and their person? What's the mutual energy here between Virgo and their person? Okay. Got strong Leo. I didn't say it. We had strong Leo with both of those uh, sun cards there. Got the strength card. We have the fool card. Wow. We have the ace of pentacles. And I got to pull one more card with that ace of pentacles. Oh, boy. Seven of swords. Really? Okay. And the nine of wands. All right. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody, Virgo, I feel here just in this energy. This is someone who, uh, who I feel, this feels like somebody here that wants to be single, that they're holding back, okay? They're holding back because I see this person avoiding um, commitment or offering something stable for the long term. We're going to see when we pull this person's energy. Um and I feel like, too, with this nine of wands, this person, it almost feels like, yeah, look at this, nine of wands, ace of wands, and the page of cups here. It almost feels like this person here has been waiting for you to reach out to them is what I'm getting here because this is someone I feel they've been taking things very casually. Um, it feels like this person is someone who is single. It does not feel like this is someone who is in a relationship, but um, this could be someone who acts single uh, type of energy, very carefree energy here, you know, even could not everybody could be um, irresponsible, but I feel like this person is holding back because this is someone who's keeping things casual. I feel like they're hoping here with this page of cups that you're going to reach out to them is really the energy I'm feeling here. But let's clarify your person's energy and see where that goes, okay? Um, I'm going to clarify here. Um, okay, wasn't ready yet, Spirit. I saw King of Wands. So they may be ready to take some sort of action. Let's start with the Page of Pentacles here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please? And then we'll get the, you know, we'll do the potential outcome as well, or some love oracles too. Yeah, well, this is someone, again, look at this, Knight of Swords here, okay? I feel like this person is going to come towards you here with communication. Yeah, look at that. We have the Knight of Swords, and we also have here the Page of Cups, and we have, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Could be an Earth sign, a Water sign, or an Air sign. But I feel like this person is going to come towards you, even though, right, they've been keeping things casual. Um, right now, it doesn't feel, it feels like they're trying to avoid 
um, a relationship. But I think here I may clarify this, right? Let's see how it comes out when I clarify the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. And then maybe the energy will change there, right? So maybe they've been avoiding a relationship. But I see communication. They're going to send you some sort of friendly um, communication, something small. Got a lot of pages here. So they're going to start off small here because I feel like this is someone who's been holding back. I almost feel like they've been waiting for you to reach out to them. We have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Again, yeah, they've been waiting. And I feel here, Virgo, it's because they feel like you are kind and giving and they just kind of feel like, you know, um, that you're the one that's going to reach out even though you you probably haven't. I see you holding back here. So, but they're going to they're going to reach out, I feel here. I see communication. We'll see in the extended as well because I will look at what their actions are. I want to see um why the 8 of cups is here because I feel like they're not feeling content about what has happened between the two of you why is the eight of cups here please why is the eight of cups here please and then we'll go down to here uh this energy what i was seeing there you are hermit king of cups interesting so we have king and queen of cups again divine counterpart we have king and queen of swords here um, I feel like in a lot of ways, <clears throat> Virgo, you and this person are marrying each other in some sort of way. Okay, look at that. The Hierophant. Yeah, look what showed up again. Okay, they're not content here. And then we have Justice here. Okay. Well, they're not feeling content about where things are at with you and them. Okay, there could be a multiple, you know, multiple reasons why everybody's story is different. But I feel like this is someone who, again, they're avoiding their feelings, right? Or maybe just being vulnerable. Someone who's been avoiding of making a commitment. I feel like if they did pursue other options, they didn't find anything better than you, Virgo, because they're not feeling content here about the situation. And what I see here is you have justice and the page of swords. So I feel like this is someone, um, I feel like they know they need to make things right with you. They may be watching you from afar. I want to see here why the death card is here. Like why, you know, what is... Um, what does this person want to change? Why is the death rebirth card? Now, it could be some sort of significant situation that happened in this person's life that is making them realize, right, that they're not content with the situation. They have feelings for you, Virgo. Why is the death rebirth card here, please? Yeah, look at that. Judgment, devil, Capricorn energy. Six of Swords. Yeah, they don't want to move on from you is what I'm getting here. Eight of Pentacles. They still want to work on this connection. And we'll see here, right, if anything changes around commitment. But we have Judgment, we have the Devil, and we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is someone um, I feel what they want to change here is that I feel like they want to fix things between you and them. They don't want to let it go. They, they're they having a hard time moving on. Um, some of you, I'm just going to say, it could be they're just not feeling content where things are at and they want to make things right, but it doesn't necessarily, for all of you, mean that they, they want a commitment, but they do want to work on things here. They want a new beginning. I'm just going to say, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. Well, they want something more... They want um, to feel like things are back to a place of stability. Now, this could be someone coming around wanting to, to make a commitment. may not be everybody here, but let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? And then we'll do uh, some Love Oracles and the Outcome. Okay. Oh my gosh, 
Oh no, it's the Nine of Pentacles. I was going to say we have a third time a divine counterpart, but it's not. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles and the Five of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Well, this could be someone, like I said, there could be other options. There could be other people that take up this person's time and attention. It doesn't necessarily have to be another love. Um, it could be anybody. It could be children. Um, there could be some financial reasons here, too, that this person struggles with making a commitment. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who struggles um, emotionally, definitely showing me this is someone who's struggling emotionally um, because I do feel like this person has feelings for you. But there's some reason why this person has been avoiding, you know, making any commitments for the long term. So let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Let's see if anything is changing. And then uh, we'll, we'll pull some more energies here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Wow. Let's pull another card. The Tower, too. And the Hangman. Well... Definitely showing me this person is seeing, seeing things differently. They're missing you. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about the good times here. Also seeing the world and the Eight of Cups. Like I said, I feel like they're not feeling content about the situation. Interesting because you have Eight of Cups in the Death, uh, death Rebirth card. And that's what you have here in their energy. So repeating energies again. We also have here strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Okay. So this person is starting to see things differently. Uh, realizing how much they do miss you, Virgo. I feel... Um, let's see here. Okay. Well, what I really get here, um, I see the Ten of Cups here. This is clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. So this is someone who wants to overcome whatever challenges the two of you have had. They want to rebuild a foundation with you. That's quite clear here. There is the possibility here that you and this person could, you know, rebuild trust um, deepen the bond between the two of you. There is a path here, even though this is someone who has avoided commitment in the past, it does feel like this could be a path where the two of you could actually try this again if you're wanting to, the Tower and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this is um, a fresh start. Uh, definitely powerful energy with the Ace of Swords and the Tower. Um, I feel like uh, there's divine intervention Okay, uh, you and um, Annette, this soulmate here, I feel the divine is bringing back together again. Okay, so some of you, it may be actually to work things out and have a long-term relationship. And some of you, I feel like it can just be where the two of you get to a place where you can be happy again. And that's where you're going to have to make the decision, Virgo, is this the right person for you? Are they on the same page as you? Because also to here with the five of ones, <clears throat> that can talk about where, you know, this can be a situation where you and this person right, may want different things when it comes to the long term or when it comes to a relationship. So those are things you're going to have to ask yourself, Virgo. So I'm going to pull uh, some of these love oracles. Um, these are by Amira. These are Amira's uh, love oracles. She sent them to me. There's a link below in the description box if you like them. Uh, you can order them. I do not make anything, okay? Just promoting them for her. So I'm going to pull one of these cards in your energy space. What can you share with Virgo? What's in their energy? Oh, <laughs> okay. So home, okay. Maybe you're spending a lot of time at home. Some of you, uh, maybe you're wanting to um, purchase a home, okay? Something here around the home or you're looking to do that with a partner um you do have okay some of you may work from home you have here um <clears throat> excuse me communication texting phone calls online okay so some of you may be spending a lot of time at, at home or you may work from home is what i'm picking up in your energy let's pull um or you know interested in purchasing a home 
So let's see uh, what is in your person's energy space. Okay. Oh, look at that. Soulmate. I said it earlier. Yeah. They feel a very strong connection with you. And, you know, this says great connection. Okay. So definitely picking up soulmate energy um, with your person. Let's get, um, I'm going to pull one for the mutual energy. What can you share with Virgo around mutual energy? And then we'll get the potential outcome. Okay, so interesting. We have dating queen here. Okay, so this is opportunity, dates, and abundance. Okay, so, uh, you know, again, I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to see this person. This may be somebody who even brings you gifts. They're very attracted to your energy. All right. Now, it's interesting. Bottom of the deck here, you have wallflower. Okay. So um, I feel like this is an energy you're holding back, okay? You're holding back because you want to see uh, the effort from this person is what I'm picking up there. So Virgo, let's get the potential outcome here of the situation, okay? What's, and then we'll go to the extended. In the extended, I will look at what your person is, is more deeply, what your person's thinking or feeling about you. Their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. As I said, future love in the next three to four weeks. So what can you share with Virgo? What's the potential outcome of the situation between Virgo and this person? Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I do feel like this is somebody returning into your life. I do feel like Virgo here, Nine of Swords, you're going to be worried. Okay. You're going to be worried a little bit because I feel like this could be somebody who's been very hot and cold with you. This person could be worried. I feel like the two of you are mirroring each other here as well. Now you have the Nine of Wands and you have the Three of Swords. Okay. So I feel like this is someone... Um, like I said, I feel like they could be waiting for you, but this is someone who is feeling beat up. They're not content with the situation at all. That's what I was saying there. Uh, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the nine of cups and the page of cups. Here's that message. I feel like no matter what the situation is, you're going to feel very happy to get some sort of communication from this person. And they're going to send something fun, some, you know, a happy message. And look at this. You've got the seven of pentacles and the nine of cups. This is someone who wants the romantic opportunity. They've been thinking, reflecting situation. There's time invested. Okay, and look at this. This is what's beautiful. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Three of, of Cups. A reconciliation, a chance to bring things back to a stable, loving place between the two of you. Some of you, it may be building towards a long-term relationship with this person. So Virgo, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.